Good morning, good morning. It's follow-up Friday with Frenchie. How's everybody's week? Still chilly here in Pittsburgh, right? That's what we do. We snow or we hit 30 degrees and freeze all week. It's not all black and white. Black and white in what? In real estate. That's why they call this a profession or an expertise. I've had a lot of questions lately about for sale by owner, uh, especially for my buyers because the market can be tough. And they want to know why would they work with, if they go to sell a house, specifically my younger first time homeowners, a realtor for selling their house for sale by owner. Well, why wouldn't you? There is something seriously to be considered when you're selling your house. Yes, of course, money is the biggest deterrent for most people. It's a hot market. It's busy. And people are like, I'll save the commission and do it myself. I understand that because commission is how our companies get paid, how we get paid in our profession. But that commission has a price to it, right? Like there's a purpose for that. Selling your house on your own, I understand for a lot of people wanting to take the chance. But the expertise, the amount of money you can get more for using a realtor, the ease that there should be when selling with a realtor is worth every penny. And I hope that you all consider that. I have two great listings that just came up this week. 172 Lodi Way down in Lawrenceville. I'll be there tonight for a toast and tour, open house, and I'll be there tomorrow for mimosas and muffins. And then also on Sunday, um, I will be at 218 Linhan uh, Place in Cranberry Township for an open house. That just got listed as well. So what's the point of telling you about my listings? Well, of course I want you to see them, right? But how about the work that goes into that? It's not just sitting there looking all cute and saying, oh, come visit my champagne toast and tour. How about a seller's disclosure? When you're selling your house, did you know you have to have a seller's disclosure? It's a Pennsylvania document that is needed that discloses all of the information about your house. I send it to you. You fill it all out. It's needed for someone to purchase. Inspections. What if someone waives them? Where's the liability on you? The sales agreement. Our sales agreement to be under contract with a buyer is 14 pages. There's a lot of things in that document that would be helpful to know, even if a buyer's agent is bringing someone in and you say, I'm representing myself. Do you know what to look for on that sales agreement? Do you know what all of the, the details are? Are you familiar with hand money or escrow? Where does that get held? Who are the people that you call for an appraisal? What is the importance of appraisal if someone puts an appraisal contingency? When you're selling your house, you want to know everything that's brought to the table. And a lot of for sale by owners actually will pay a buyer's agent. So I come in as a buyer's agent with my client and I put an offer on your house and you're actually going to pay my commission. Why would you not pay someone to represent you? It, it doesn't make any sense if you think about it. I'd rather put my money towards my person. In Pennsylvania, typically the commissions are paid by the seller. So go ahead and interview some realtors. Give me a call. Let me prove to you the value in hiring a realtor. It is not all black and white. Put that sign in the yard and here we go. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot of conversation. That's actually why we have brokers. I've been doing this over 11 years and I still call my broker if something new comes up because he has an expertise that I might not have. There's three or four other realtors I called when I was listing my Lawrenceville property just to kind of get the idea where to list pricings and what they thought about a toast and tour. Do yourself a favor and interview and hire a realtor, especially if it's me, right? But to find the value and understand the gray areas that we bring to the table with our marketing, with the documentation, with the time, not having to answer that phone nonstop to have someone come look at your house, but have a realtor set it up for you. So you don't have to be there every time and you can put a lockbox on the front door. Things that you can't do on your own, but you need a realtor for. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Even if you're not in the market, but you might know somebody, stop down in Lawrenceville, 172 Lodi Way tonight. Toast and tour, 5.30 to 8. Tomorrow, mimosas and muffins. And that will also be down at 172 Lodi Way in Lawrenceville. And then Sunday, if you just couldn't squeeze me in on Friday, Saturday, we'll be in Cranberry at 218 Linham Place. An incredible townhouse. It is a great community. It's convenient to all of Cranberry and it's move-in ready. Brand new carpet. My seller is very proud of his new carpet that he put in. 
So give me a call if you have any questions. Remember, it is not black and white when you're selling a house. It's helpful to have the realtor help with those gray areas. I love what I do. I know you will too. And I will see you guys hopefully this weekend. Mwah.